Mr. Excel Podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learn Excel from Mr. Excel Podcast, episode 1774, are links to closed external workbooks cached in the workbook. Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jones. Today I'm passing along a trick that I learned at the Excel SoCal Meetup back in July. And uh, this uh, came from, I, I'm almost sure it was Ryan. Ryan right here said that uh, he uh, had a job delivering pizzas at night and he would uh, set up the laptop and just put on the Excel is fun or the BGELLA123 channel at YouTube and uh, learned a lot about Excel, has a great job now as an Excel data analyst and stumbled upon this one recently and, and it took me a couple of weeks to actually come back and try it. So right now you're watching not my usual podcast computer, you're watching my desktop computer because we want to use two different computers here and I have an employee table.xlsm that's stored on this desktop computer. It has ID, base pay, bonus pay and name and I'm going to control tab over to our podcast file, podcast 1774. This is some other workbook and I want to set up an external link to that other table. So equal VLOOKUP of uh, this value, comma, and I'll control tab back to this table, set up the link. And of course, we don't have to press F4 here, right? That's automatic. It puts the dollar signs in and we want comma, four, comma, false and it gets us the answer. And of course, you know, that's an external link. It works all the time. Uh, no surprises or hassles there, right? And then even here, I'm going to switch back and we'll change Ike2 to Ike. Uh, I'll save this workbook. I'll close this workbook. And even though the workbook is closed, it continues to work like we expect, right? Nice. So I have this file. Uh, it's stored here on this computer. I'm going to save it out to the Dropbox and we're going to revisit on the other computer. All right, hey, welcome back. I'm over here on the uh, podcast computer. Uh, so here's our Dropbox, Podcast 1774, 54 seconds ago. And we're going to open this in Excel. All right, now it says, hey, automatic update of links has been disabled. I'm not going to enable that content. Uh, we're on another computer here and it, it continues to work. Uh, so if I do 111, uh, you know, it, it's getting the other information from that closed workbook. And that closed workbook is not on this computer and these two computers are not networked. So there's really no path back to that file. And in fact, this C colon AAA, there is an AAA folder on this computer, but it doesn't have an employee table at all. All right, so, you know, somehow miraculously here, uh, Excel is allowing this external link to work and that is as it's supposed to work. It It's one of those things that if you have less than 10,000 cells in a closed uh, Excel file, the, the links continue to work even if you send the links to someone else. But here's what Ryan has discovered. I'm going to go into this formula and I'm going to uh, very carefully select everything after the comma up through the A3 like that. Control C. Now remember the original employee table. I'm just getting employee name here, but there was other confidential stuff in there like salary, base pay, and, and bonus, and things like that. So I copy that from the clipboard, press Escape, and then come down here. I'll type an equal sign and Control V, uh, and I want to point to A3, but I'm not going to put the dollar signs in. I'm going to take those out. So we want to create a uh, nice relative reference there. Uh, pointing to that closed workbook and when I press enter it says well hey you got to go find that workbook but I'll just click cancel and they return that value from A3 hmm that's interesting control C and we will paste about the size of the table control V and again they ask me to go find the file and if I just click cancel they're returning the entire table all right that's kind of crazy I guess it shouldn't surprise me that it works. Um, clearly, there has to be something going on here that this VLOOKUP would continue to work. Uh, but being able to extract the whole VLOOKUP table, including these confidential columns here, I guess surprises me just a little bit. So, I'm passing this along just that way you're aware. If you're using links to external workbooks and there's stuff in the middle, like, you know, you're not referring to this in the VLOOKUP table uh, that's confidential, you don't want people to see it, you need to think twice about that uh, because it would be possible for someone on the other side to extract that information. 
All right, hey, an addendum here. You know, I guess it's not really any mystery at all. I'm going to rename this uh, XLSM file to be a .zip, and then open the zip file. Uh, I'm going to the Excel external links, external link one .xml. Open that up. Of course, in order to make the the external link work, they would have to send along the values that they last had before I closed out of the workbook on the other computer. And it's uh, as I look here, A3 through D3, I'll go all the way down. They're only sending the uh, values that were linked. So again, as I said in the in the call out there uh, to the right recently, if you would make sure just to link to columns A and B, put ID in A, name in B, and not includes uh, the uh, salary or bonus in the linked area, then that information would not get sent along. So, uh, surprising, yeah, I was surprised, I never thought about it, but of course it would have to be in here in order for it to work. All right, well, hey, I want to thank Ryan for passing that cool tip along. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Hey, if you're a fan of Excel videos, and of course if you're watching this, you are, check out the Excel Daily News at paper.exceldailynews.com. It's a collection of all the videos and blog posts about Excel in the last 24 hours.